this property had been neglected since the beginning of the pandemic. These are some of the pictures that I took just before I started the job. Stick around to see the results. This is me starting at the end of the property, doing one of those big square pavers at a time. The owner of this property loves all of this landscaping and plants, so there is somewhat of a jungle in several parts of the property. If you enjoy the content of this channel, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, even commenting. I read all your comments. And also, in the description below, you can find more ways to support the channel by downloading those apps that give you cashback on gas or rewards that you can exchange for gift cards on your favorite stores. And by using the promo codes, you'll be supporting the channel as well. Working with a surface cleaner is of course my preferred method compared to using just the wand, but in the case of these squared pavers, the pressure, the surface cleaner is just not adequate. And just as it seems like that I'm finished with these pavers, there are more of them on the other side of the property. If you take a good look, these pavers are actually darker or dirtier than the ones I was doing previously. That's because in this area there is a lot more shade and by receiving less sunlight, the pavers stay humid longer, which promotes the growth of the bacteria, the fungus, and all that stuff. I actually landed this job spending zero dollars in marketing. I was working across the street at my friend's house doing also pressure washing and when this lady saw me, she called me over, I crossed the streets, she showed me around and uh, she asked me for a quote and then she said yes. These are the last few squares on the back of the property. And now for my favorite part of the job, using the surface cleaner on bigger areas. This allows me to work faster, which makes me more profitable. Depending on the dimension of the pavers, sometimes you are able to align the edge of the surface cleaner with the edge of the pavers, and that way you never see the streak marks. But the disadvantage is that it's a lot harder and it's more time consuming to rinse off the pavers. All of that dirt gets in the 
nooks and crannies in between the papers. The owner of the property had moved most of the smaller vases and plants out of the way. These bigger ones stayed there and I was actually asked not to move them. Some were big and she didn't want to have to put them back herself and other ones were cracked like that one in the middle. So I was told to just work around them. And just in case if you thought we were done with those squared papers, well, these are the ones on the side of the property. It was actually surprising to me how, after I finished cleaning the sidewalk, rinsing it off, I noticed that the sidewalk still looks dirty, but I did the same process that I do in all the other surfaces, which means it was probably a darker choice of sand mixed in with cement that caused this color of concrete. So unless they're gonna use a brand new mixture of concrete mixed with a lighter color of sands, this sidewalk is never gonna look any better. And at this moment right here is when another neighbor pulls up and asks me to go look at their place after I finish here to go give them a quote, which also was accepted. And that is house number two that I got to do without spending any money on marketing in this same neighborhood.
This was one of those other moments where I had to go around the plants because the homeowner preferred not to move them. Same thing happened here on the steps. I couldn't do the left side of the handrail because of all of that vegetation growing. So I did what I could underneath the handrail and, and left the rest how it is. So this is the driveway, it's the last section of this property that needs to get done and usually here in Florida or South Florida even, the driveways don't have much of a slope because everything is pretty much flat and the construction is not as good as we would like it to be. So this one has a pool right in the middle just because, you know, to keep things interesting. Pushing the water all the way down to the street is, or in this case, was an option, and I started doing that. But, as you see over there, it starts going to the right, and it was starting to reach the property next door. Right at the beginning of that driveway, there is a, a slight um, indentation, so the dirty water would be pooling in the beginning of that person's driveway, and that is... Uh, in my opinion, that is unacceptable to throw the, the dirty water all the way to somebody else. So I brought out the vacuum. As the buckets fill up with water, I switch the vacuum to another bucket and I go dump the buckets over there in the corner. I found better space between two shrubs, just big enough to dump all the dirty water and the excess of dirt there. And uh, uh, once everything is done, I spread the dirt around a little bit with a shovel and make it look natural. It gets to a point when there is so much dirt accumulated in the same spot that you just gotta bring up the shovel to save you some time. Pushing it around with water would be wasting gas and water and your time. Here is when I finish the vacuuming, put stuff away to the side and I prepare for the after treatment to remove of all of those lines or streak marks that you see on the driveway. If 
you pay close attention, you can see almost immediately everything starts whitening. All of the streak marks start disappearing. As I finish the driveway and I find myself with more solution in the spraying tank, I just keep reapplying until everything is gone. 